happy morning children welcome to aims india's online classes this is a sixth class biology living and non living part 2 children in part 1 we have discussed uh, some of the important facts related to living and non living things so more interesting facts we are going to learn in this video are you ready children let us proceed so ecology how the ecology supporting living and non living things ecology is a branch of science it's a branch of biology it deals with the study of living organisms in relation with the surroundings or we can also define this ecology as the science which deals with the study of relationship between living and non living things okay so the environment influences we know very well environment influences the living things that it surrounds means the habitat the place where the living organisms live definitely influence uh, the life of the organism so ecology is the study of relationships between organisms and their relationships with their environment so this environment uh, consist of uh, factors the basically these factors are divided into two categories what are they biotic and uh, abiotic both biotic and abiotic factors alter the environment so biotic factors means living factors or living things abiotic factors means non living things so, so both uh, biotic and abiotic factors can alter the environment can change the environment so for example rain and sunlight these are abiotic components or abiotic factors for example these has great influence uh, the environment you know very well the places where the good rainfall is there there you can find uh, very thick forests or thick greenery plants isn't it and sunlight the more sunlight is available the plants prepare their food material and uh, the plants uh, grow well okay both rain and uh, sunlight they are non living components but they influence the environment so if more plants are there more living organisms depending on that isn't it so living things may migrate or they undergo certain uh, adaptations like hibernation estivation okay living things may migrate or undergo adaptation if the environment becomes difficult to live in okay uh, we we know that uh, certain birds will migrate from a place of uh, uh, very cool but great uh, for example great siberian crane right from russia come to india to escape the cool conditions isn't it and uh, hibernation hibernation means winter sleep so during severe winter certain organisms like um, frog polar bear they will stop all the activities and undergo sleep that is called hibernation okay so to overcome the difficult environment they undergo certain process okay Dif difficult conditions adverse conditions these organisms will show some changes or adaptations next uh, now come to again uh, living and non living things this world is uh, made up of uh, many different things so some of the things are living and other are non living 
So, for example, a dog, swing set, car, tree, flowers and a book, these are some of the things that make up the world. So, we can uh, differentiate them, a dog is a living thing, a swing set, car, non-living thing, book, non-living thing, tree, living, flowers, living, flowers, when they are on the tree, living. Okay? So, like that, uh, there are two different kinds of things in the world, one kind is called a living things. These living things undergo certain activities like eating, breathing, growth, moving, reproduction and uh, respond to the stimulus with the help of sense organs. These are all uh, the characteristic features of living things, some characteristic features. The basic characteristic features of living things are living things grow living things respond to stimuli and living things reproduce. These are the three important basic characteristic features of all living beings or all living things. Okay, children. So, other kind if you come to the non-living things, the non-living things do not eat, breathe, grow, move and they cannot reproduce. Okay? They do not have any senses, so there is no response to the stimulus shown by non-living things. Okay? They are quite opposite, but there are some um, organisms are there or we can say during some time they may be living and after that they may not be living. For example, if you cut a tree when it is alive, it is a living, it shows growth, it shows response to stimulus, it shows everything. But once it is cut off, then what happened? It shows the non-living non characteristic features. Okay? So, an example of a living thing in the world, uh, for example, a dog, a dog is an animal and the dogs need food water, space and shelter, is not it? Primary needs require for a dog to survive, to live that is food, water, shelter and some space to live. So, dog is a living thing. For example, a tree, a tree or a flower, it is a plant and a tree and a flowers they also need air, nutrients, water and sunlight. A flower and tree are also living things, they are also living things. So, plants are living things that is why they need air, they need nutrients, water and sunlight. Nutrients means mineral salts obtained from the soil. Okay? The environment of the plant is such that it obtain the different types of uh, requirements to survive like air from the atmosphere, sunlight from the atmosphere, nutrients or mineral salts and water from the soil. Okay? So, other living things are animals and they need food, water, space and shelter. So, any living thing need food, water, space and shelter in order to live or in order to survive. A dog eats food, breathes in air and grows from a puppy to a dog. You know, a small puppy, it grows into a dog. Okay? A dog reproduces, reproduces means to make one of its own kind, okay? it gives puppies. Okay? A dog also has senses, sense organs, 
senses are seeing with the help of eyes, hearing with the help of ear, smelling with the help of nose, tasting and feeling, tasting with the help of a tongue and feeling with the help of a skin. These are the five senses which we can observe. We observe in all animals, is not it? So, these uh, sense organs are considered as the gateways of knowledge. Okay? We know everything what is happening in the world, what is happening in the surroundings, the living organisms able to know what is happening in its uh, surroundings with the help of these senses. These five senses are coordinated by the brain. Okay? So, other living things include uh, you know we people, the cats, rats, rabbits, bugs, lions and many other so many millions of organisms are there living organisms, animals. There are many different kinds of plants too. The plants can include some examples like dandelions, grass, corn, tomatoes and much more. So, the non-living things include the things uh, that do not need food, eat, reproduce or breathe or respond to stimulus. Non-living things means those things which are opposite to living things. For example, a car, a car does not eat or grow, it does not move unless a person is driving it. Okay? means it uh, does not move on its own, it does not need air to breathe and it has no sense. Okay? It is a non-living thing, a car is a non-living thing, a swing set does not use food, a book does not move, the swing set and book do not grow and they do not need air to breathe, means they are non-living things. They are non-living things. So, non-living things do not need air, food, nutrients, water, sunlight or shelter. Other non-living things in the world include the pencils, rocks, football, toys, hats and many other. Okay, an electric bulb, electric fan, so a wire, a computer, anything. These are uh, non-living. Okay? One more example of living thing is a bird. So, previously we discussed about a dog, now a bird. A bird eats seeds or worms. Okay? It breathes in air. It comes from an egg and grows. It moves by flying. It lays eggs and reproduce. It smells and sees because it has a senses. Okay? It breathes okay? and it respires with the help of lungs. It reproduces by laying eggs. It is oviparous. Okay? It moves by flying with the help of wings. Okay? It possesses feathers. Okay? It lays eggs and uh, reproduces and it also responds to the stimulus. It can smell, it can see, it can flee away from the whenever it requires in search of food or for different purposes. It can move. Okay? So, a bird is a living thing. A bird is a living thing. Next, one more example of a non-living thing, for example, if you take a ball, a ball does not eat anything, it does not need to breathe, it never grows, it never moves unless a person throws or rolls it. Okay? A ball does not reproduce, so it cannot hear or it cannot feel and it has no senses. So, a ball is a non-living thing. Okay? Finally, we come to conclusion.
in summary everything in the world is a living thing or a non living thing okay the basically we can divide the world into two parts living thing and a non living things the living things can be a plants which need air water nutrients and sunlight or living things can be animals which need food space water and uh, shelter okay so but non living things they doesn't require or they won't need air to breathe water to drink nutrients to eat and uh, shelter or space to live okay so this is the basic difference between living and uh, non living things next there are living things and non living things everywhere the living things eat breathe grow move reproduce and have senses so reproduce means to make one of its own kind what is reproduction the ability to make one of its own kind is called a reproduction the senses are five main senses what are they vision seeing auditory hearing olfactory smelling gustatory tasting tactile touch or feeling okay these are five main senses what are the five main sense organs eyes ears nose tongue and uh, skin so non living things do not eat breathe grow move and reproduce so they do not have senses a dog and a tree are living things a book and car are non living things we are surrounded by living and non living things okay so all animals and plants are living things and uh, the subject which deals with the study of these living things is biology biology is the subject which deals with the study of living organisms a cat playing with a ball is obviously living but the ball is a non living okay a pigeon flying from tree to tree is also a living thing tree is also living thing okay children following sometimes it is not so easy to decide the plants are living things but they do not play with the balls or fly in air isn't it if something is living it will carry out all of the seven activities shown below what are those seven activities which we have studied okay they show respond to the stimulus they eat they breathe okay they reproduce there are some seven characteristic features but some non living things show one or two of these seven characteristics of living things but not all even all living things may not show all the seven characteristic features but they show few characteristics of living things they are considered as living things isn't it so machines such as a washing machine can move the car needs to be fed with petrol in order to move but these are non living crystals such as ice crystals forming on a window grow bigger if the conditions are right isn't it in very cool places for sometimes to be living it has to show all of the seven characteristics of living things but sometimes may not okay so we need to decide the living thing or non living thing by observing those seven basic characteristic features okay children i hope you understood thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates